since back in 2019, we were last green. This is not a drill. We're talking about four years ago, J- January 20th, January 21, January 22, four years ago. This hasn't happened in four years. What's up, guys? This is an emergency video because XRP could be ready to put in a cannon of a move here. It's December 27th, Tuesday. It's 5.01 p.m. And I came across a couple things. I know I said I wasn't going to do a video this week, but this I had to share. So we're going to go into the XRP to USD chart, XRP to dominance, XRP to Bitcoin, XRP to Ethereum. We're going to cover all the different angles and see some of the signals that are flashing right now because it's quite insane. It was the same type of things that were flashing back here right before we went up a double. So very interesting times ahead. We could be ready to have a cannon of a move. So let's dive into it. So we are on the two month XRP to Bitcoin chart. Guys, this is nuts. We have a prepare to buy soon signal. In four days, this candle closes. We have two consecutive Heikinashi candles. We have the MACD flipping from red to green with a confirmation because we already flipped green here, but this is a confirmation right there. Since back in 2019, we were last green. This is not a drill. We're talking about four years ago. January 20th, January 21, January 22, four years ago. This hasn't happened in four years. XRP to Bitcoin chart, two month. MACD curling in. It's already curled in and it's flipped green two consecutive times. TSI is likely going to cross up on this in the on the next candle that comes up here. So that will consist of January and February 2023. We're going to see the stock. Uh, the, the TSI crossed up, MACD's crossed up, as well as the stock RSI's crossed up. Guess what that means? Blue beam is about to come in here. That's a vertical buy now signal. That means that, and we have not seen a signal come in. That's how oversold XRP is against Bitcoin and just in general. But you can see, I mean, you take this trend line like right here, we can put this across. I mean, there were wicks through it, but ultimately you get the point. We're riding up on a trend line here, just like this was riding up on like some resistance over here. And what's coming next in 2023 to 2025 is we're going to make our way up to this area up here. That move from where we're at right now, we're talking like a 40 40X against Bitcoin. And it's entirely possible here. We're seeing things happen. I mean, like the stock RSI here, when it got up and touched the the 80 line, 80 line here in the stock RSI, the last time it did that was literally back in May of 2017, March 2017, when we went 80x in 80 days. We are in for a hell of a quarter one. That is for sure. Also, the one month chart has likely, yeah, we're, we're crossed up. We already got to buy now. I mean, it told you to sell the top back here. It told you to buy the bottom down here. And now we're traveling sideways. It's like, ready? I'm going to show you something. It's inverse. Like this point right here was like the middle point. <laughs> it's crazy how symmetrical XRP's chart is. So take this as the middle point. If you kind of go like this, right, and it curls in, just like you go like this and it curls in, it's no secret or it's no surprise that the buy now came right here at the same time that the sell now came right here. And then you kind of go up one, up one, you curl back down one, curl back down one, you come back up one, you come back up one, and then ultimately what's next is a massive move. I don't believe it's going to be a massive move to the downside, that's for sure. I think we're going to see a massive move to the upside, something like that. And it should, you saw the pattern play out right there. And I'll even show you by just copying the pattern. This is what I found just like staring at the XRP chart for years is like what happens on the left happens on the right. It's just in a different direction. So let's do it. So let's even measure the time analysis. So from here to here, we're talking 914 days and then from here to here we're at like 1,126. So we're around, you know, this kind of a halfway point. So now I'm going to grab, oh, I already did it. So we took this and now I'm going to flip it. 
See how what happens on the left happens on the right. You can see that it's the same pattern. So we fell here, right? Came down to our cup, down one more, back up to the side. Then we kind of shuffle our way up, shuffle our way up. What's next is a big trend change. That is for sure. Two month, one month chart, Bitcoin chart, two month chart, looking insane. I mean, we're going to flash a buy now signal in the next four days. Then we got XRP to dominance chart. We're looking at the two week chart, but actually I want to go to the monthly. Guys, this is the first time we flipped green since back here in May 2019. We're talking like four years ago, three and a half years ago. It's crazy. Where we're at right now is like we're at the we're at the point. It's just like the chart is lining up for some big announcement to happen. I'm telling you, get prepared. Three month chart. Stock RSI crossing up here. MACD's curling in. If we go to the two month chart, let's see how that's shaping up. It's probably looking fabulous. Same thing. MACD's about to flip green. I mean, we haven't seen that in a long time. Stock RSI is about to get through this 50 line. Last time we were through on the 50 line was literally back here in March 2017 when we went crazy. So, and we're probably breaking out of the trend line. Guys, this is not a drill, like literally not a drill. You can clearly see this is a breakout and we're getting a confirmation candle that's getting above this horizontal support. Like you can see the last time that we had the trend line coming down like this, I mean, boom. And then we had it coming down again, boom. And now we're going to get a fall through candle. We, we're getting suppressed, but I believe we're at the tail end of it. Now let's go to the... 10 day chart for this because the 10 day chart is holding this market structure ribbon as support. We came down to it, wicked it, wicked it, and then we're coming back up right now. And we're at a convergence point where the, the trend line's coming down here. And then we have the trend line coming up like this where we touched the wicks. And like in these next four days, we're going to see something big, a big move happen. So definitely I would start to get a little bit excited because the odds of it breaking down are not as likely as a just kind of an event or a catalyst to really have this cannon on out of here. Um, let us go to the three week chart. We got our buy now signal right at the bottom here in Dece January, 2021. Now we're seeing, we flipped this from red to green. We've been holding out support. And now we're coming back up here. You can see that the stock RSI is likely crossing up. TSI is about to cross through the zero line. Last time we did that was back in March of 2017. We were, last time we broke down back below it was June of 2019. We've been oversold this whole time in XRP dominance. XRP, 2023 is its year. You can feel it. I mean, we're so close here. Let's go to the XRP Ethereum chart and then we'll go to the USD chart to top it off. But I mean, I'm noticing things that I didn't even see before the, I started this video. We're, we're so close. It makes me want to just convert it all back into it. Three weeks. So three week chart We're you can see that we're bowling just a bowl on out of here. And the stock RSI, it's casually rising here like that. We're really trying to break this downtrend, and I believe we've already done it. If I take the stock RSI, we bring it down here. We're so close. Rejection, 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 rejection. We're coming up. And then we have this area as support. And yeah, where we touch it back here, 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 here. Re resistance, resistance, support. And there's not that much time left. I mean, it ends in March of 2023. We're going to see some big fireworks in the next three months, guys. So get prepared. Two-week chart. We came back down. Wick, wick. Support. The the market structure ribbon turned from red to green. I mean, we haven't even seen it green once on here. And then we've seen it hold that support, support, support. And we're seeing a convergence between the horizontal support, the market structure ribbon, and the downwards resistance. And us being literally right at the zero line looking like it wants to have an uptick and the stock RSI has already gone through its kind of corrective phase of when it kind of comes down to this zone then it pops up corrective phase comes down in this zone pop up corrective phase come down in this zone pop up we are so close let me go to the one week chart yeah one week chart MACD was dark red for three weeks and now we've, we're getting the first kind of light 
red color here. We're holding the 50 line as support. Stock RSI has cooled off. It's exactly what you want to see. Even if I take this kind of pattern that happened right over here, you can see we've like completed our move, guys. If I put it like right there, we're at the tail end. You can see how that matches, right? We have our pop up, we come down, we pop back up, Looks, we break the trend, ultimately we come back for a second low, and then we go. We're at the go phase. We're literally at the go phase, and this would be like a double for XRP against Ethereum, so we're, we could be talking us getting over that 55 cent level, and who knows what could happen after that point because that's such a key resistance level. <laughs> Looking very good. Let's go to the three month chart for XR, not two month chart, XRP against Ethereum. Stock RSI is crossed up here, looking good. We're really curling up here. I mean, we've already broken the downtrend. You can see, bam, right there. Like we literally are breaking the downtrend on this candle, it closes in four days. Yeah, I'd get your moon boots on. Something is going to be announced here. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm putting, I'm making a call right now. I would be shocked to not hear an announcement in the first quarter of 2023. There, all the charts are aligning for it. That's for sure. It's time to get excited. Not financial advice, but that's what I'm seeing. One month by now already came in for XRP against Ethereum on this breakout candle. It's no surprise that we had the buy warning on the breakdown when we're getting the buy now on the break back up. Guys, look the MACD from red to green have massive hidden bullish divergence and i think the tides are ready to turn if we go to xrp usd chart i mean we have the 12 hour buy warning and the buy now that already flashed we have the one day as well too let me just have that pop up 12 hour one day we're getting the buy now in the next two hours two day we already have the buy warning back here we're waiting for a buy now three day we have the buy warning. Let's check a four day. Four day, guys, <laughs> get ready. Got all right. So we have one, two, three, four, five high time frame signals flashing a buy now. I think it might be time to convert back from XDC to XRP. Let's take a look at that real quick and then I'm going to end this so I can get this out to you guys because this is an urgent alert. 30 minute chart. We're going to really get into the nitty gritty here on this. I believe that we're probably going to come down lower for XDC against XRP. That means XRP is going to start to outperform here. If I take this low to this high, we stretch it out. We're likely going to retest this 2.618 extension, which is a move down for XDC against XRP of about like eight to 10%. So XRP could just pump 10% right now and XDC could stay flat. And that's what could bring this chart down here. It's totally possible. So I think I'm going to convert back into XRP right now. I definitely don't want to miss this train. You can already see it starting to go. So I'm going to push out this video and I will see you guys in the next one and join the discord. I'll be keeping people updated in there about this signal and you're going to want to get in there because uh, this is not some, this is not a drill. Let's just say, I'll see you in the discord. Say what up. I'll say what up back.